actually one thing i'm curious about the cyber truck is this exoskeleton a lot of people have asked me about yeah. how that uh ties into the safety of the vehicle um with like the crumple zone and a crashing a different way um do you have any thoughts on that it's it's no different i mean you still have to go through a finite element analysis so you design a product in CAD, computer aided design, and you um, and you uh, you give it the shape you want, and you take a guess at what uh, what what you want to do with uh, different parts of the vehicle. Then you can go into something that Alter, uh, one of the other uh, CAE uh, computer aided engineering tools that Alter puts out, and what it'll do is it'll um, it'll help you by designing it um, or redesigning what you have modifying it slightly so that uh, that you've got an efficient use of materials and things like that. Then you go into um, basically crash mode with uh, finite element analysis to find out how that design is going to react um, in different crash modes. So side impact, um, small offset, uh, rollover, rear, uh, everything, everything that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that would tell you you're, you're in trouble and how do I, how to make it work? And so what the computer does then for the computer program, it comes back and says, well, don't do this. Um, you have to strengthen this. This is too red. This needs to be a little more blue. The different colors tell you how much of a crumple you're going to get in different areas. Um, and I don't think there's going to be any problem at all with, uh, with an exoskeleton or, um, you know, a conventional, uh, conventional uh, uh, build, it. <laughs> you, you figure it out the same way. We're going to use the yeah. same tool. They're going to use the same tools to design um, how that product is going to react in a, in a bad situation. And it seems pretty crazy because Tesla's uh, been leading in safety and they had the, the lowest probability of injury, I think, by the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration. Like they set new records for their cars. Do you know why yeah. they're able to create such safe vehicles and more like push the envelope? It's way over designed. I mean, um, if, but isn't that a good thing that they're making the cars safer? Like some would say that's. It, yeah, but but the, prob the problem is, is that you're supposed to make money on these things. And, um, and sometimes over designing it uh, will give you a great recommendation for um, uh, from the um, EPA or, or from NISHTA. But, uh, but at the end of the day, you still have to make money at it. And, um, and so, and, and you, every time you add an ounce of weight, you, you reduce the range. I think Tesla's range could go up a lot if they, um, if they modified the design of the car, it could still make it exactly the same as crash, um, but but it doesn't have to be so heavy. Um, and I made mention of that before. And so what did they do? They they went in and uh, on the Y, they took out a whole bunch of bits and pieces, hundreds of little bits and pieces in the rear third of the car and put in a big casting. And they went from hundreds of parts and who knows how many different kinds of fastening devices to four, well, four major parts and um, basically 30 components and the rest of them are nuts and bolts. And you know what? Works just fine and I'm sure it's gonna be uh, 10 times stronger and it's gonna be lighter. So it depends on how you design things. Um, you don't wanna have anything more than you absolutely need in order to hit the safety requirements that, uh, that the government's looking for. And all cars are, there's no car that I know of that's on in the marketplace right now that's not safe. It's just, uh, you know, uh, how much do you want to spend in order to get to a point of redundancy, like redundant materials, extra materials that don't add any extra to the, the value to the car. So.